Hello everyone, welcome back to Evil Genius and we are here with the Uber Trap having been supplied with the anti-brain gas so it basically makes them all dumb um, but the Uber Trap's not running at the moment because we've got a significant amount of money and the problem that we have is if you get too much money you can't progress to the second island or well, you can progress to the second island but it's tricky um, you can't really build much and so it's a little bit annoying in that respect Let's go over here, because I think there's still some missions over here. Yeah, do we have the Playboys yet? Uh, no, we've got Physicists. Do we have any pl Do we have any Playboys? Oh goodness, do we have Playboys? We have Diplos, but we don't have any Playboys. So we're going to need some boys to play with. And there we go, let's go in and get those boys. Now, this guy here, oh, tourist. Hello. Goodbye. Here. You're still in here and you're about to get shot. Goodbye, you annoying little sword and a flipping hula thing and a bad shirt. Hello. Hurry up and kill him. Oh, bloody tourists. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the island. Here's your complimentary free gift. Thank you, come again. Or possibly don't. Oh, you. Just kill them, please. Kill them quickly. Get them off my island. Now, I could... I don't really need to have the Uber Trap running. No, go away. I don't need to have the Uber Trap running because I've got a reasonable amount of money right now. But these oh for God's sake, get out of there, you. Uh these guys are still gonna cause trouble. See what I mean? They just shoot shit. It's really annoying. To be honest, I would be tempted to What are they angry about? I would be tempted to just... Here you go, fellas. Level three. And sensor to there, to there, to that. There we go. See you, fellas. The Patriot World Service broadcast. That'll bloody teach them, isn't it? Um, and then on to that, 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 and that. There we go. Oh no. Yeah, well, we lost a few of them. Never mind. Acceptable losses. We can always get more. So these guys are now going to basically serve themselves right and get gas to hell. So, anyway. That's one of the playboys, which is great. Now, this is the problem that I'm going to have. Where to put the bastard. Because... I'm going to take that out. That may need to be moved somewhere else. Might have to put that there. And then that. We'll have to go in there. See what I mean? Big old thing. Meanwhile. Oh, there we go. Final Uber loot obtained. Now, how are we getting on with this? We're close. We're close to finishing. Okay. So... 
one more bit to go. Still four pieces of the six. And serious cash flow, 10,000 per minute for world domination for five minutes. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, sometimes I think the mod is like bugged. Oh, for God's sake, more soldiers. The mod is bugged out slightly and just giving it to you regardless. So whether or not it's going to do that, I don't know. But we'll wait and see either way. Um, we'll see what happens. See, look, there you go, all the gas. Turn him into thickos. And there you have it. And there you have it. Got it all there. So now we've just got to do the faking it, get the clone. And we've got to do the. Um, 10 minutes or 5 minutes worth of getting 10,000 of doodah. So, what we'll also do is into the gas chamber thingy. We'll put the actual murderizing gas so it'll clear it out. Because we don't want those soldiers in there. Oh, hello. Is trouble. But it doesn't matter. She's going to end up being captured and she's going to get stuck in this room here. So let's power it up and get it ready. Get it warmed up. It's only polite, really. I mean, just because we're an evil genius doesn't mean we have to be uncivilized about it. It's just common decency. And more soldiers. So how are we doing? So research is sort of ground to a halt a little bit at the moment. Oh look, arcade cabinets, they're really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of one of those and we'll put an arcade cabinet. What? Oh, of course, yeah, Mariana Mamba has made him dessert. Yeah, that does happen. Offers him a dessert and away it goes. So, that goes in there because then that will give us another option for research. And down here, we shall put it in there, I think. Actually, no, we won't put it down the end. So we'll get that ready. Have it pointing in the right direction. You do the right, right mouse button to rotate stuff. There we go. Not looking too bad, I'd say. Not looking too bad at all. So we just got to wait for um, old sugar tits over here. Um, what's her face? This one here. To get captured. And then we can essentially stick her in this room. Um, we will lose quite a few people. Um, lose quite a few people in that regard. Um, because we don't have the guns in here yet. But... You know, it's not the end of the world. Let's have a look at the cash flow. See, so it's 1600 at the moment. So what I think we'll do is we'll just put some people in every single location. And that will probably generate the money quickly. Because that's what it does, generally speaking, at the start of each event. Whoops. Or each thingy what to use a technical term. Um, so we do stealing, 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 stealing. There you go, see, 16 grand. So, and there we go, just to keep that track record going for five minutes, which won't take long. Oh, hello, fellas. You look like you need some bullets in the head. Oh, you guys definitely do. But saying that... Oh, God, not another one. This guy's more of a problem because he keeps laying charges and blowing shit up. So, um, he could be an issue. 
Um, but he's a pretty dangerous karate boy. So we'll have to see what happens. There we go, dead. So I mean, see, look, this guy, damn, damn dangerous. See, that karate chopping everybody in sight. Just horrendous. And obviously, oh, heavens, hello, of course, yeah, these guys. And that one there. Um, so they're going to cause probably a large amount of money to disappear because of the stuff they're going to kill, the people they're going to kill and the money it's going to cost me to get the bodies back and obviously these guys are going to break shit up as well because they're soldiers and that's what they do so let's just open that and then open that might as well get them in here because with any luck the stupid gas will gas them and reduce their ability to fight back so it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Let me just lock the door once they're in, because they won't be able to break their way out. Like so. So there you go, some will hit the poison gas, some will hit the stupid gas, and they'll end up sitting there like that. And then being blown past sensors, we'll get it set off again. And round and round and round and round we'll go. There we go, see? Another sensor just set it all off again. So, I, I, I haven't done this before with sensors on the edges of the walls. And I think it's working quite well, actually. Under the circumstances. So, oh, yeah, that's Jet. He's been incapacitated, so we need to set that to level 3 and set that to level 3 so that they don't get put into that room and they do get put into this room because this will be the super agent containment room which is where we will build turrets eventually to basically incapacitate them as soon as they try and... Actually, you know what? I like that, but it should be the other way around. <sighs> See what I mean? Just things like this just annoy me. I'm so ridiculous, but never mind. So, how are we looking numbers-wise? So, 6, 22 playboys. Whoops. 20 playboys are required. Thank you. Six diplomats. We're fine. Um, in fact, you know what, screw it, let's just take that out. And then we'll re-put it in there but again. There we go, so he now will be transferred to this. I don't know where... Oh, there she is. Hello, you. Let her take a closer look. Whatever. So, it's distinctly possible that a lot of things will end up on fire with this guy in here, but... We'll have to wait and see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, that's one thing we don't want her doing, is going into the Uber truck, because she would decimate it. Absolutely pull it apart. So let's just get these guys in. There we go. And hopefully Come on. I've got to be careful with my uh, super uh, my henchmen going after the super agents because 
the super agents will kill them. Three lives they get essentially. See what I mean? Yeah, see, now she will have lost a life, as you can see. She loses three lives, she dies. I have to get a new henchman, which is slightly annoying. See, another henchman down. But she is now incapacitated. And Jet Chan is now in the prison, which is good. Now, we don't have the ability to build the hidden ones yet. So we'll have to wait and just leave them in the normal one because they can then look out the door. Uh, but once we get the hidden ones, then we'll just close it because it's like a padded cell. Um, and also it disguises... Oh, hello. Um, it disguises against all sorts of things. Now, if you do control, you can see here, basically, because I did control and then the right-click kill, everybody, members of that uh, squadron or uh, platoon, is marked for murdering. So, before they, as soon as they land, they're attacked, which is kind of the thing we want. So, they're all in there getting gassed to hell. And this lady will eventually recover her strengths and will probably get picked up by a uh, social minion. Right, so let's do this properly now. So it's that way, like that. Because then she can enjoy the water and have the plants at the back. Which is much nicer in my opinion. Die. Die. Bloody tourists. It's my island. You shouldn't be touristing on my island. I would have thought that the Apta travel agents would definitely have this as minus five stars. A once in a lifetime trip. As in one bloody way you don't come back. And there we go, he's out. And now they've got to stop him. And this is where it becomes costly as far as my troops are concerned, see? And I've got to watch it. Because they've got to stop him. And there we go, they have stopped him, but... Yeah, there we go, so he is fighting back. He kills people fast. Do you know what I mean? Kills guards very quickly indeed. Very brutal amounts of damage on this guy. But the point is, is by doing this sort of post office corralling, it means it slows him down in getting out to the exit. And more men can intercept him before he actually makes it out. See, so we're losing some of our men. See, normally... With the guns in here, it'd be just flat as soon as he stepped outside within about five to ten seconds. And here comes Mariana Mamba. And the thing is, is also when they've got ability to see out, they will actually let their comrades out, which obviously causes more problems for us. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's not the end of the world. We've still got more research to go. And there we go. We've got those in place as well. So they're going all right. They would replenish their smarts and all that kind of stuff. Let's get some of the more of these things in here because they're more efficient. They take up less space. Overall a better situation. Now let's see. Come on. Remove that. There we go. So, that goes in with that, and that, and that, and then there's another one there. So that means that there'll be a space there, which is nice, and then we'll take that one out as well. So we're not going to fill in that space, we're just going to leave it as it is. Um, take these ones out as well. And then put in, like that, one there. And then we'll put one there, one there, one there. And then we'll get these ones out once these ones have been fulfilled. Order all in all, looking pretty good, I'd say. Oh, we've got seven million in the bank now. 
We'll have to go back and check on the uh, the Uber trap shortly. Just waiting for the rest of these to be removed. Let's go and see what's going on. Everything on fire. So she's unconscious. He's still causing problems. Right, one, two, three. So they should get put back where they belong. She should at some point soon. Okay, that's all right. And obviously, these are all being built, which is good. Not sure where he's gone all of a sudden. But yeah, they're taking out these things here. So we can put that in there. And that in there. And we can take those out on the end as well. We'll do that when we do that lot. You can see 254 out of 420, plenty of people available. It's not the end of the world. And away it goes. So yeah, I'd say looking pretty good really from a from a design and from a general management point of view. I'm quite happy with how things are going. Um, we still haven't done the faking it in order to move on to the next part. So. We are going to have to get eight workers. Oh, we can do the new island already. Holy crap, that's fantastic. Let's send out quite a few of these. Let's, let's do this, and then let's do the new island. So three technicians, and three guards. There we go. And then we'll put these guys to hiding as soon as they make it there. Now, one thing we will do is we'll go to... Um, What's that one? Was it that one? Yes, it was that one. Um, hiding. 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 I don't want anybody stealing. Because otherwise it generates too much money too quickly. And it will cause me a problem on the second island. And I don't want that. See there's 2,900 still coming in. I can't hide that yet. They're hiding already. These guys will be hiding. There's nobody there. Those guys are plotting. There's nobody there. What I might do is just remove everybody from the uh, the map. Because I don't need them out there right now. Right, let's do that. <sighs> let's get everybody back in. Um, let's, and then we'll go out on an individual basis and do each one. Let's have a look. This one as well. See, get them out of here as well. And out of there. There we go. Income naught, which is fine. Because this thing is generating income for us. So. Let us go down here and get that. So they're well locked up in there. We're pleased about that. Uh, numbers wise, 6, 4, 20, 16. Um, we've still got, not quantum, 
biological, these guys. So let's get a biochemist, let's get some troops in there and have them hide because we're going after the biochemist. Um, and also then we've still got uh, karate boys and snipers to go. So the karate gentleman will be around here. So we'll put four guards in there. Actually, we'll put nine. What's going on? Oh, so they've made it out. Big deal. Not bothered. Not bothered in the slightest. Um, and marksmen, if I remember rightly, they're up here somewhere. Or are they up here? No. I can't remember where the bloody marksmen are. Hmm, okay. One thing I will say, there's not been a lot of plotting done here. So we're going to go and plot there. See, we're still getting 5,000 in. Even though I don't want 5,000. Because they're by default plotting. But never mind, it's not the end of the world. There we go. The cloning machine has been pilfered. And there she is. So, there's the act of infamy. And then we've got to get it interacted and create a clone. Clone is assassinated by one of the specialists. A large drop in heat across the globe. So, that's what we're going to have to do. Which means we're going to need our lady to make her way out of storage, so to speak. And over to the clone machine so we can get her cloned. In fact, actually, what we'll do is we'll move it like that. So we can see the cloning process better. Oh, hallelujah. Now this is where the power usage goes through the ceiling. But it also means that these guys get incapacitated as soon as they jump out which will be so damned helpful. And we'll also put one there. And we'll put one, should they decide to try and break out. So we'll then make this out of guns. And we'll have this row pointing that way. So if they make it to the door, uh, they'll be intercepted. There we go, that's much better, look at that. I just wonder if she's got any piranhas in there. That, oh, God, I hope they do piranha traps like they did in uh, James Bond in Flipping Evil Genius 2. That would be so cool. There we go. So, um, let's see. We still haven't got the flipping, um, the goo fat, uh, the goo things yet. Right, where is our girl? Come on, lass. Oh, thank you, darling. Way ahead of you, darling. Nice. Come on, then, girl. So, we're going to put our girl into here. Ah, somewhere to relax. I would call it very relaxing based on the fact that they're going to freeze you on one side. But we will create a clone of your loveliness. Oh, nearly knock you out. There we go. Stand inside there, madam. And there we go, frozen. The bodyguard, our shirtless bodyguard is watching. Meanwhile, that's going on in the background. Very noisy. So. In the process of being cloned. Yeah, okay, well done. So we'll leave her to get on with that as it's taking a while. There we go, you can see, slowly creating. You've got to do a sample. Don't even know where you want to get the sample from. Ooh. Oh, goodness me. But you can see, slowly starting to form. Anyway, we'll leave her to get cloned.
We'll stop cloning around. Oh, look. You've made it out. Well done. You saw absolutely nothing. Even better done. Now, um... Uh, one thing that will be advantage of having these here is these guys will pick it up for research and then hopefully research the disguised sentry guns, which we can then start putting out here. Which will be enormously helpful. Um, at some point we are going to have to turn this room, the battery room, into the other power station room. But, you know, whatever. Oh, shit, I forgot all about this. Um, we need to put in bookcases for a start. And then we need to put in the multimedia zone. Like I said. Because those are research opportunities as well we've missed out on, which is a bit annoying, but, you know, these things happen. I would say, generally speaking, I'm happy with how things are going. And so that's the end of this week's Evil Genius episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you again soon for more Evil Genius. Cheers, guys.